Yo, 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 what's going on? I'm not even gonna waste you guys this time. I just got back from school, as you can tell from the intro. Um, I was out for a bit, I just got back. I was gonna film outside, but I ended up coming back home to film. But yeah, today's video is just gonna be an EDC video talking about what I take every single day. Not gonna waste your time, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So first of all, I'm gonna start with my backpack or my bag. I got this bag from Ross. It's just very, very simple, clean, and nice looking. Um, this bag just has two compactments. Just a little small one right here. And this small one, I just put like basic stuff like cables, my little everywhere tripod. And yeah, I'm gonna start with, with that. So I take this tripod, er, tripod everywhere. I got it from Amazon for about like $15, I think. But yeah, does the job. Um, but I do wanna say though, like if I put in my actual camera on this, it ends up shrinking down. But I don't know, I think it's just, it couldn't take it. But when I use my phone with it, it does the job. Everything works smooth. And yeah, it actually comes with like a phone holder as well. But I don't know where it is, but yeah. And secondly, the other thing that I put in here is this USB-C hub. I used to use this for my setup before. I used to use this for my setup for like for about a year and a half, but then I started having problems with like USB and stuff like that. But it still does the job to be honest. So I I just keep it in my backpack just in case I need it like for a quick use when I'm outside of home and I'm with my laptop. And other than that, I really don't put much stuff in here. I try to keep it simple, like I said. Oh, let me talk more about the bag, actually. The bag's um, brand name, I believe, is Reaction Kinet Co. I got it from Ross for about, like, maybe 40 bucks or less. I mean, yeah, probably less than 40 bucks. Um, but I like the feel. It's kind of It kind of looks like luxury, like the way they put the clothes right here. And it was just leather and black. It goes with every outfit I wear, so I love it a lot. So in the bigger in the bigger compactments, it has about four pockets, like these two little ones right here. And in the first one, I just put this note that I take everywhere most of the time. I usually just write my thoughts into this or my ideas. Like if I have like an idea, I got this from. Amazon actually it was only about like maybe 15 bucks and I've been I've, I've had this for almost like two years actually so um I just use it to write my thoughts and stuff I like how it's just black it actually came in pair of two I just like the feel of writing note in paper I still feel like it's necessary you feel me um other than that another thing that I take with me everywhere and I put in this backpack is my wallet I've been using this wallet for about three years right now very very clean and smooth like i said black i still love black black is one of my favorite colors i like it also looks luxury and in fact i got this for about just 20 dollars. i barely put money in there but i put like my id and all that kind of stuff in here i i don't i really don't take cash i don't take cash stuff so. another thing that i put in here is my everywhere mouse like this mouse i, I actually use this mouse at school in a physics class today so does a great job it actually has the feel of like the m like i have an actual logitech ms ms master but if you check they actually look the same the only thing is this doesn't this you don't you don't customize this like you want with the ms master and um it actually comes with a button on the left side that you can use. I usually switch tabs with this. It actually works with switching tabs, but you cannot customize it to do whatever. Another good thing about this is you could either switch this to a, uh, like the USB 2.4 G like this, or you could just use Bluetooth and it works. It actually works. And another good thing about this mouse is it lasts for like 
I would say six months if you don't charge this. I don't think I've charged this in the past like five months. And if I should check right now, it's gonna be around like maybe 80%. So very good mouse. I got it for about $17. I'll put the, the link in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out for students on budget. I use this mouse for like two years or a year and a half before I actually got a Logitech mouse. So very very good another thing that i put in my backpack as well is my airpod pro i take my airpod pro everywhere i used to have a normal airpod until i upgraded to this um i would all right damn my camera battery actually died so where did i stop i think i was talking about my airpod these are basically like my only sound system right now like when i'm using my computer when i'm streaming when I'm watching videos, when I'm in a lecture, online lecture, I just use my AirPod, gets the job done, love it, nice and simple. I really, honestly, I don't think there's any other AirPods that are better than the AirPods to me personally. I've tried other Air AirPods before um, and they are nothing like this one, to be honest. I would like to upgrade to the latest one. I think the ge second generation that has the speaker on the side. This is very, 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 great thing for me to have on my day to day. Another thing that I take with me in my bag is my iPad ninth generation. Man, I love this iPad so much. It's been a lifesaver for me. And I know like you guys want to get the iPad Pro, the iPad mini, but for me personally, since I've had this iPad, it's been a lifesaver. I use it for productivity, taking notes in school. I've actually saved money on test books since I got this iPad. and. Even these days, I don't even write on notebooks that much, except if it's like, I just I just feel like it. But in terms of like saving space in my bag, having this iPad has been like a very, very huge blessing for that. Um, and yeah, I got this case from Amazon. It's about like $20, $25. It comes with like a magnet on the back that I could use to place vertically and horizontally. Um, it's a very, it has a very great feel. It makes it actually look like the iPad Pro, to be honest. And I like the way I could detach it as well from the case and still have my iPad protected. So for my other iPad accessories, I got this pen from Amazon for about 17 bucks. Gets the job done. Not as good as the Apple Pencil, but still, honestly, if I could use this the whole day and just charge it overnight, just like a phone. Um, yeah, gets the job done. I've also been using this like since about like after a week since I got the iPad. So I would say about a year as well. And honestly, use this to take my notes, drawing, um, designs. Other things that I take with me on a day-to-day -day basis that are not in my in my backpack are my Apple Watch. So this Apple Watch is the third generation. I know it's kind of old, but to be honest, still does the job. And recently I've been using the walkie-talkie on it. With my friends like if i if if they're not picking up the phone i just walk it talk to them see if they're available and it gets the job done even at work when we're not allowed to use our phones there's a friend who also has a, a apple watch and and if i really want to talk to him like i need some kind of help i just walk it talking to him like real quick and he receives my message you feel me so yeah um another essentials let me see and finally one of the most important thing that I take with me on a day-to-day -day basis is my phone. I'm still rocking the iPhone XX Max. Um, to be honest, I don't see any reason why I should change my phone now. Uh, I know like the new iPhones are like slick, but for me personally, let me tell you guys one thing about me. I'm very good at maintaining things. Since I got this phone, it's been clean and smooth, never broke. I recently kind of broke like I don't know, some part of this camera right here, but still, the camera still works fine. The only thing about the phone that's like getting bad, it's like the battery health is about like 89 right now. So let me say if I give it like about five more months, I might stop using it. But I plan on getting the iPhone 14 or I might wait till the iPhone 15 and just get a brand new thing. Yeah, I think that's it for the video, man. And as always, see you guys. Not as always, as for the first time, see you guys in the next video.